Valens Research, Uniform Financial Analytics. Danaher is an interesting company because it's a company that you've probably interacted with, but you've never heard of it. Uh, this company is one of the historically one of the best strategic acquirers in the world. It has been doing it for the last 15 years. Every single year, uh, not every single year, regularly what they do is they go out and they find a company that they think they can improve. They acquire it. They implement what they call Danaher business systems. And what they see is they improve the returns of that business, boosting the overall profitability of the company. And then, right, they go on and they make the next acquisition. And now if you're looking at this as an investor, right, you would see this company and you would look at its asset growth the last two years and you'd say, oh, this is great. They went and they made two more acquisitions. They're primed to, um, you know, to do this all over again. But wait, why have returns been so weak if this is such a great business that's doing acquisitions? Well, the reality is, one, this company hasn't grown its asset base nearly as much as you think the last two years. In fact, in 2019, it shrunk its asset base. In 2020, it grew slightly. But more importantly, what it's been doing instead of growing its asset base is it's actually been doing exactly what we talked about operating Dana, her business systems to take what wasn't a 4% R, a 4% ROA firm, what was a 26% ROA firm in 2019 and boosting it up to a 41% ROA firm last year, right? What this company, you misunderstand if you're looking at the Azure Port of Metrics, where this company is in its regular acquisition life cycle. You think it's in a growth phase when in actuality, Dana, her is in an operation improvement phase. That means significant value creation for investors, which by the way, is what the market's pricing in. Right, you look at this company on an as reported basis and you'd see a 30 times multiple and you'd be like, what is the market thinking rewarding an acquisitive company that doesn't earn a high return when it acquires and just acquiring more? What we see and what investors looking at the right data see is they see a 30 times multiple and they go, yeah, that makes sense. They're just unlocking value from recent acquisitions and then they're going to be able to do this all over again. And that's the value creation in this model. You can't capture that insight. If you're losing, if you're using the wrong data, and that means you are behind the market, right? The market is pricing the company like this because it realizes the real returns. If you're not seeing this data, you're missing the picture and you might short a company that quite frankly has phenomenal operating profitability perspectives. Valens Research, the world's leading source for uniform financial analytics.